In this lesson, we'll be talking about transferring a call, parking a call, and paging. When a call comes in, you'll see the outside call. It'll be listed who's calling from the outside world. It'll usually have a name and a phone number in a properly installed system. This is a demo system. You can say, hello, welcome to XYZ Company. I'll transfer you to Bill, for example. So all we need to do is press the transfer key, transfer, and enter the extension number of the person we want to transfer to, and they can pick up. Another way to receive a call and then transfer it is as follows. Call comes in, pick it up and say hello, XYZ Company, you'd like to talk to Bill. You can press the transfer button right here and then press Bill's light if he has a call appearance button on your phone. And Bill can pick up and talk to the caller. That simple. Now, we would like to mention that if you want to, if you don't know where Bill is at, uh, you can always receive the call and then put the call into Park. What Park is, is a place that we like to call a universal hold. So it'll put him in this park slot, and then you could announce to Bill that he has a call on Park 1. Then Bill could walk to any phone and press the Park 1 key and talk to that person. Then he, in turn, can place it on Park again and go to his desk, work on his computer, and give the customer the information that they wanted, for example. So let's demonstrate this. First thing we're going to do is simulate a call from the outside world. Pick it up. Hello, welcome to XYZ Company. You'd like to talk to Bill? Okay, one moment, please. I'm going to find him for you. Please hold. So now we put that call on park, even though we told the people to please hold. Now we're going to go over to page and try to locate Bill. We'll have to wait for the beep first. Hello, Bill. You have a call on park one. Bill, you have a call on park one. Hang up. Bill would now walk over to park one on any of the phones. Here we go. Park one. And press pick up the phone, press park one, and then call pickup. And now Bill is connected to that caller. If he wishes to put it on park again, he can press park once more. The caller is put on hold, and you can walk up to any phone, press the park button, call pickup, and now you'll be connected to that call as well. And that's how we do transfer, call parking, and paging. Once again with the paging, let me demonstrate that we do have to wait for a beep first. We should always page using the handset and not the speaker. If you use the speaker, you usually hear feedback. So let's pick up the phone, press page. You heard the beep, and now we'll start talking. Bill, you have a call on park one. Bill, you have a call on park one. Or, there are cookies in the lunchroom. Please get your cookies before they're all gone. I would like to show you that there is another type of phone we use in these systems called the Model 1403. It's a small phone that we typically have in reception areas, uh, at a front door, maybe in a lunchroom or break room, work room, that kind of thing. And they also have park buttons, but they work a little bit differently. So I'm going to simulate an outside call and then we're going to put a call in park. I'm calling the reception phone right now and as before I'm going to reach over here and put the call on park. Here we go. And now you notice that the park light went on on our lunchroom phone or break room phone. And to pick up park now is we pick up the phone. And what we need to do is press park. And it'll say outside call, what's, what's there? We're still not connected. We have to hit it a second time to make the connection to the outside call. And that's about the only difference. Uh, with the other phone, we had to press park and then call pickup. With this phone, we press park twice. And that's pretty much about it for that one. Um, there are other features on this phone that are very similar to the other one except the screen is much more limited and uh, you have to do what it says. Um, so for example if the A button which is down here, where's that A button? There it is right there. You press the A button and that's the menu as you can see and then you press the pound key to continue and then you can start scrolling through different types of features that it might have we scroll through it, let's get the screen and sounds, and to select it we hit the pound key, and we can do things like uh, uh, adjusting the brightness, so it says use your minus and plus key of the speaker down here, and that could adjust the brightness of the screen, 
the ring volume, things like that. Go to the next feature with the pound, adjust the contrast, ring type. Let's change our ring type, for example, I'll use the plus key. Just, that's kind of loud, sorry about that. Next, clicks is something that uh, is on every phone, and we can turn that off. We'll just do it here. We'll refer to it again for the other phone, but let's, uh, let's change it and turn it off. So now when we hit a button, you won't hear that annoying little click sound. So that's pretty cool. So to get out of this, we just hit the menu button again. It says press A to exit, so we're hitting it twice, and we're back to our main screen. Likewise, we have the uh, other features here. Drop, will tra drop the call, transfer, can transfer to another caller. Conference we'll get to again. The menu button for the redial. Uh, I hit the redial and it just calls the last person. That's pretty much all it does. So it's a one position redial. The last person we called. If we called, for example, 204 last, or let's say 202, for example, 202. We can dial 202, then we dropped it or hung up, and then we do it again. Redial. You notice it calls Bill this time around. So, like I said before, you can press drop, you can pick up the handset to hang up, you can press speaker to hang up, or you can uh, drop it this way. Um, pretty basic. This call is currently set, or this phone is currently set up to juggle two calls back and forth, two line appearance keys labeled A and B. Uh, if we have a call, uh, we'll call over to 201, for example, pick it up, put the person on hold, we can do that. Make a second call over to 202 pick that up and then we can go back and forth between the two people without pressing the hold button remember we talked about that before it's an automatic hold when we go between two parties we're talking to and the one that's lit up with the two lights we can drop the call go back to our other one that's on hold bill and drop him and now we're completely hung up and everything's back to normal on this particular phone and that's our mini lesson on the 1403 uh, low use phone.